Lara, if you're headed to the cathedral, Trinity will be everywhere. I know, but I have no choice. So much violence and death. Jacob's people have been through so much, yet they continue to fight. They are bound by an oath taken by their ancestors. A duty handed down from the past. But I see a people who simply want to live in peace. I believe it's time for them to let go of the past. If I can find the Atlas, it might lead to the Divine Source. I could take it away from here. They wouldn't have to suffer anymore. They could share the burden of the truth with the world. But if all this leads to nothing, I don't know what I'll do. You'll never find a finer meat than boar. As black as the soil and twice as rich. But hunting the damned things is an unpleasant task, to say the least. Now that the sun is up, we will hunt as a pack, working together to take down a boar. We will strike from the hunting blinds around the valley, for we can spot the boar in the dense undergrowth without being seen. And you do not want to be seen. At least it's not raining. None of you. Not even I want to deal with that cursed Razorback. I can no longer deny the pull that Alia has on me. She came to me, alone, as I walked the passes high above the valley. I know now that the draw was mutual. I explained to her why I could not, should not, why my position amongst our people should preclude such folly, why I could never make her happy. But it didn't matter what I said. As my mouth spoke, my arms reached out to enfold her, and we embraced. It has been so long, and I am still human.
Franklin surrendered and the company men were watching, had to turn him over. Did they take him back to the old prison? Just the ones they think might know something about the Atlas. Constantine's gonna ask them a few questions. They've got the rest back up near the cathedral. Hmm. Someone's gonna have some fun. That must be the hell? I've attached everything I've learned so far. Anna and Constantine, they're in charge out here, but someone else is pulling the strings above them. Someone with a lot of cash and the means to move it around. I've narrowed down the source, but I'm having a hard time believing someone in the Vatican is running a private army. But all roads lead to Rome. Trust me, this sounds crazy even to me, but people have to know this. If I'm gonna die for this, I want to be on the right side for once. And Constantine, I know you're probably reading this too. You might make me disappear, but you won't win out here. And if I never get the chance to say it to your face, you're out of your fucking mind. Run! 
under attack! Spread out. Right. Oh, shit! We have a true test now, young ones. The valley is balance. When one thing slides, it affects all others. The fire two harvests ago led to an unusual bloom of berries. That led to more deer. And now, we've got too many damned wolves. They're not good eating, but to keep the valley in harmony, we're tracking wolves tonight. They come out after dark and roam the whole valley, but we're going to track them to their dens in caves and other underground places. Stay close together. When you hunt wolves, the wolves are just as likely to hunt you. We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak, heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could, 
but his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that forum could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. Security guards came at night. I knew they would. I crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands and smiled. He told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon. Point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity, for Constantine. But what did he say? It's not his call, but he's gonna put a recommendation in for us both. Then there'll be an initiation ceremony of some sort. So that's it?
Croft is operating against us at every turn. Someone put a fire in her. Lord Croft was too bookish to possess any true resolve. He was a coward. His daughter is something different. I almost gave an order today that no man should kill Croft but me. I fear she is starting to cloud my judgment. I must remind myself, the goal is not another dead Croft. The goal is the divine source. illness. It's ruining my body. Now it threatens my mind as well. I keep drifting off, getting lost in memories, lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift, how I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I, with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done. And this time will be no different. I underestimated our enemy. Elias is now dead because of my fool's errand, and my father has not been seen in two days. We would need to be at our full strength to resist Trinity, but it seems the killing blow was dealt before the fight even began. We have the armor of our faith, but what good is it against an enemy that grows stronger with every passing generation? If we survive this time, I fear our children will not survive the next.
thin, fluted flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. sweeping the lower valley. Do you have eyes on them? Thanks. <clears throat> Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference, but Constantine's not taking chances. month I have gone to the forum to hear the prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the church in the west seek to silence the prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world. 